We're a very mean-minded, very small nation that likes to think it's a very big power. Britain is attempting to cling on to that power, basically through the sort of uh, endless oppression of its own people. Now, you know, as the empire crumbled, as the finances crumbled, as the slavery crumbled, you know, so, you know, increasingly we as Britons, you know, are put into a form of slavery. I mean, we've got the lowest minimum wage in Europe, we've got the lowest standard of living, we've got the lowest standard of health care, the lowest standard of education, blah, 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 blah. It's a very, very, very mean country. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again, you know, I think we are, the British are the most oppressed nation in the world. And the evidence of that is our stability. We, we have been kept under the thumb. There's been no revolution. There's been very little street action. Um, what is, is viciously squashed uh, in, in a way unparalleled. The secret services in this country are probably the most efficient, long-standing, etc., etc. So, you know, the whole machinery of oppression in this country is greater than in any other country in the world. It's an absolute essential to the English way of life, knowing where you belong. And if you don't know, you'll soon be reminded. You don't have to have someone go around like the Nazis used to do in concentration camps, whipping people's back. The people are doing it themselves. They get up in the morning, get the switch and start whipping themselves to do mindless, stupid things for nothing. The entire legal profession, the entire military, the entire literary world is dominated by people from privileged classes, from the upper classes. Now, the upper, you can't buy yourself into the upper class. It's not like America where money defines class. In this country, background defines class. And it's still, it, it, it's as deeply um, ingrained into the English character, you know, as is the caste system in India. Except it's not quite so explicit. It doesn't need to be, because we all, we all, every one of us as a, as a, as a, as a Brit understands exactly where we belong. And we understand it just by the accent, our accent. That's enough. You don't need any more than that. If you're stopped, if I'm stopped by um, the police, you know, out on the street, my accent will immediately inform him or her of what essentially I'm going to be thinking or what my expectations are or how I'll defend myself. It's absolutely written into our whole sort of uh, social conditioning. And for example, I don't look like a sort of upper middle class gentleman, but I sound like one. So when I go into a shop, because I look a bit trampish, then I'll probably create interest from the security. But I only need to open my mouth and they'll think, oh, well, that's all right, isn't it? Here's a sort of upper class eccentric rather than a working class tramp. That sort of thing. I mean, it's just in play all the time. That's how the whole structure of British society is built around the class system. <laughs>